Perspectivism, a philosophy where every person is wearing their own unique pair of reality-tinting glasses, and nobody can take them off. It's like everyone's living in their own personal Netflix show, and we're all terrible at binge-watching each other's realities. If everything's a perspective, isn't that view itself just another perspective? The concept dates back to ancient Greek philosophers like Protagoras, who famously said, man is the measure of all things. This mind-bending notion got its glow up in the 19th century when Friedrich Nietzsche decided that absolute truth was so last season. It was less to be or not to be and more to be but like from whose angle, man? In his perspective, absolute truth is a non-existent reality. There are only useful truths and useful falsehoods. He simply isn't concerned with it, as it would be essentially impossible to prove from your own perspective. Confusions may arise when we equate what is true with the truth. The world itself is a constant, but our understanding of it is filtered through the lens of our personal experiences and viewpoints. It is interesting to think about how two people sharing all their information can give different answers to the same probability question. Philosophers went meta and invented various kinds of perspectivism, each a solemn attempt to reconcile the chasm between the map and the territory. Perspectivism has given us everything from postmodern art that looks like a toddler's fever dream to relativist anthropology that treats cannibalism as just another dietary choice. It's the intellectual equivalent of a hall of mirrors, where every reflection is equally valid and equally distorted. Today, perspectivism is the ultimate well actually in philosophical debates. It's shaping how we think about multiculturalism, interpretation in law, and why your opinion on pineapple on pizza is simultaneously deeply personal and cosmically irrelevant. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.